And welcome back to another episode of All the Fabric 5, where today we're going to fire up the maximum size nuclear reactor. Yes, just spent quite a while figuring out all these pipes. I think we have everything sorted. Um, I'm going for a design I have not tested at all, which is this one. So the plan is we're going to have like uranium fuel rods we're just going to burn the normal ones this is kind of going to be i guess you'd kind of call it like a breeder reactor we're kind of using it just to to burn through the fuel i would say as quick as we can i don't know if this is actually as quick as we can um from from what i've been looking at uh it seems like the cooler the fuel rod is um the more neutrons it emits and i believe the remaining absorption is neutrons I think. So yes, once we absorb that many neutrons, we get the depleted, depleted uranium fuel rod. So I think in theory, if you can keep your uranium fuel like around this temperature, you'd be getting the maximum amount of depleted uranium fuel rods. Uh, this might be a problem with our uranium supplies. We have 34,000 uranium sitting around, um, but this might be too much. I suspect we're going to switch our other reactors over to perhaps using like the LE uranium or HE uranium or something else uh, rather than these quad fuel rods because we're going to need the we're going to need the uranium here. So, like I said, I have not tested this, um, but I think we're hooked up and ready to go. So I think all I have to do is set you to output, and we're starting to get uranium fuel rods around the place uh, temperature is yep starting to go up now potentially this reactor is not going to be oh, I think that's going to be too hot oh, actually we're okay we're okay that is definitely as hot as we've had a reactor so based on what we just saw this is not ideal Deal. It's a little bit too hot. Um, and we're kind of struggling to keep it topped up with uranium fuel rods. Uh, so we might still run into issues where these get too hot. We're getting kind of close, which is neat. Um, we should be producing, we're producing deuterium, hopefully pretty quick, uh, because I'm planning on running one of these other reactors on heavy water. Uh, hopefully this thing makes enough deuterium. Um, but actually, we do need to make sure we extract that. So, still waiting on some uranium fuel rods to fill in those last couple of bits. Um, I know I had a couple of spear ones over here. We might just grab these and buff them in. Um, we'll just do that. That should... Yeah, that's almost there. We're one short. And that's pretty hot. That is pretty hot. So we're definitely border, <laughs> borderline too hot. Now, I've kind of purposefully left these edges with nothing in them. We could put water there. Uh, I don't know what we'd get from that. That's really hot in the middle there. Cool, but this should also be producing us plenty of steam. I assume more steam than we're actually going to be... Oh, we just ran out of power. More steam than we're actually going to be using, so our efficiency is going to be pretty low, 0.6%. But actually, since we don't really need it, let's, um, let's do that. We'll just set the priority lower. I would like to see how efficient this thing actually is. Um, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, that's raising pretty quick. Yeah, I'm ah, okay. It's going back down again. Interesting. I wonder if we're at the limit of how much this can. No, we got we got no steam. Okay, seventeen point three percent looks like the number that we get from this. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. 
but cool. We we don't need to be doing that. We don't need to be voiding our Steam. Um, we'll just not be using the excess stuff. Uh, I think we are at the point where our cables are not transferring enough. I've just realized that uh, there's construction going on next door, and I think they're just firing up for the day. So probably going to be a little bit noisy. So we'll come back and uh, look at what we're going to be carrying on with. Um, I'm going to be leaving this running for a bit, so we'll see what our uranium supplies get depleted to. We're currently at 34,000 uranium dust. I suspect that's going to go down as we make more and more uranium fuel rods. But neat. Cool to have this huge reactor. Um, I had to rearrange the cables. Uh, so I was using the like the same pipe for input and output, but what it ended up happening is depleted fuel rods would end up in the inputs of the hatches, which was a bit of a pain. So I had to run another cable, um, which really made me run into the problem of uh, only being able to have three pipes in a block space. Um, essentially, I had too many pipes crossing over. So now we've got this atrocious bird's nest of cables. Uh, I think everything's hooked up and I think all the inputs are good. It is a little bit hard to tell. We could probably cut off some of these connections to make it look a little bit better. Debatable. Debatable whether or not that actually looks better, which means we probably could just completely remove these. Yeah, I don't know if that actually looks better or not. I guess I'll do that everywhere. But yeah, so the reactor's now back up and running um, after <laughs> running into issues with coming to check on the reactor and there was like 64 depleted fuel rods sitting in some of these slots, which was not ideal. Not ideal. So just finished that up. Um, if we pop over here, we now have 16 quantum circuit boards sitting in there and we're full on helium, which is cool. Which is cool, but it does mean uh, now it's time to start making the quantum circuit. Um, I think we've got quite a bit of tritium. I don't think we have cryofluid. Uh, got on helium. I can't remember what we're doing with cryofluid. I think it just auto crafts. I thought somewhere we have fluid happening. It's here, isn't it? Helium. Were we actually out of helium? No. Oh, that's right. We make cryofluid in here. And it's a level emitter on 50 buckets of cryofluid. Okay, maybe we'll bump that up to 100. Ah, cool. That should be fine. Now we'll just keep that in stock. Uh, and I will set up the bits and pieces we need for this, because I think aside from the superconductor wire, that's right, it was superconductor wire. It was a superconductor hodunga, which was superconductor dust. Um, I think we'll just request that at the moment. We'll just keep a bit in stock. Set up another production line. Um, this will probably be the last one we put in this section, I suspect, uh, and then then I might start expanding out in the other direction, which we kind of have with this reactor. He pretty much takes up a whole chunk. Um, like he doesn't take up the whole chunk, but it's kind of going to be difficult to fit <laughs> too much else in here. Uh, but that's okay. All right, onwards and upwards to the quantum circuit, hopefully. And qubits should be starting to get crafted now. So we're making superconductor plates. They're going to get extracted, turn into superconductor wire. This is making carbon plates. And we should start seeing everything. Ah, oh, except the fluids. But the fluids, they shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and qubits are now being constructed. So I think that is actually everything we need 
for the quantum circuits. Uh, cooling cells I haven't automated yet. And I think I will. Um, I don't know whether or not we have Invar in our production line. We might not. Maybe we have to extend out sideways. <laughs> I was kind of having to extend out more this way. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Quantum circuits shortly. All right, we're just about ready. So we have a stack of qubits just sitting in here, um, ready to go. I'm tempted to get more of them going, but uh, maybe not just yet. Um, I've also expanded out the factory another you know, bunch of chunks this way, so that should help. Uh, and just set up nickel production, nickel smelting, nickel plate making, stainless steel large plate making to make these heat exchangers, which I forgot you can actually use these in the reactor um, for transferring heat. Um, probably useful. I don't think, yeah, I haven't really looked into designs that would need these, but these are used for making these cooling cells and we're just about ready to go. And then we'll have a bunch of these cooling cells which are used for the gravity chest plates. We have made these, but mostly used for quantum circuits and superconductor cables actually, which is gonna be nice because I think we're gonna to wanna to transfer power with these cables soon. We're definitely hitting the limits of what our current cables can transfer. But enough of that, let's get Let's get this working. So pretty slow. Um, this will get us a bunch of cooling cells. Uh, the reason we're stacked up instead of being across is uh, chunk borders. <laughs> May as well keep it on a chunk. Uh, but we're good to assemble. We're good to assemble um, quantum circuits. I guess we just set it up here. I guess we just set it up here. Um, you're gonna live there. I mean, we've got these ones living here. Uh, yeah, this is kind of going to be like a special one. <laughs> this is going to be a special one. Um, so I guess we keep... Do we keep a stack? <laughs> do we keep a stack? Uh, maybe just one stack of quantum circuits. I mean, we are going to be using these like for making these quantum upgrades. We'll settle for that. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and then we just need to hook in all the extraction cables. This is gonna have to extract from the back of this, which is going to be tidy. Not really, but uh, it'll work. Let's get quantum circuits uh, getting produced. Now, I suspect pretty strongly that this is going to put a bit of a strain on our system uh, once we start trying to craft these circuits. Um, so that's extracted them. This should actually fire up. He's fired up. Um, but because all of these components, I mean, these aren't too bad actually. Qubits aren't bad. Um, these are pretty expensive. Actually, even these aren't too bad. Uh, but things like these. These are going to be pretty expensive to keep in stock. Uh, we should actually increase that. It's going to be painful because it uses like four digital circuits. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing, but we should now have a hole in the ground that I fell into. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Ah, uh, here. Quantum circuits. Nice. Mobius strip eigenvalues. I don't get that reference. But cool. And our reward was a cooking table. Nice. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, but neat. So we're now getting towards uh, quantum upgrades. Um, these... I think if I put them on a machine, would just drain all of my power, or as much power as the cable could transfer. Uh, we don't know how to make singularities, and we don't know how to make UU matter. So those are the two next things. Uh, 
crafting this many upgrades, we're going to have to set up a production line for this, um, for all of this stuff. Although, I think I've probably set up most of this. Um, it's just going to be these actual crafts. So this this might not actually be too bad, and it'll be handy to have a bunch of circuits just lying around. Actually, I don't think I've done conveyors. Maybe I have. But neat. Uh, and then once we... Yeah, so those upgrades, that's going to be a thing that we have to do. Quantum circuits, of course, we're making them now. It's more of those circuit boards. The singularities, that's the nukes. So we're getting into nukes, getting into ultra-dense metal balls. I don't think they were too bad, actually. It's a bit of tungsten, a bit of iridium. We've got plenty of that stockpiled at the moment. I don't know how long it'll last. Um, and nukes, we're making tritium, we're making deuterium, we're making this, we're making these, we've got plutonium. And we're making TNT, so this actually won't be too bad either. Probably, again, pretty expensive, because it's 64 for one singularity, and I'm pretty sure one singularity makes one millibucket. <laughs> one millibucket of UU matter. It takes 125 seconds. That's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Uh, but, I mean, that's... Yeah, we're definitely getting to the... The pointy end of things. Um, fusion reactor we could start looking at. We actually probably could start looking at a fusion reactor. We're not actually struggling on power yet. Um, we could start making all of this stuff. Ooh, it's a lot of those. But I think, yeah, speeding up machines is going to be the next, the next big project. We've got things like these are kind of low in stock. Uh, we're actually kind of running out of this, and it's pretty overclocked. Like we can we can chuck another highly advanced upgrade in here, but it, yeah, it's starting to drain a lot of power. Oh, we're actually yeah, we're drawing too much power now, and that's an HV cable, so <laughs> power is becoming an issue. Yeah, I think that was one too many upgrades. We probably are crafting a whole bunch of stuff at the moment, though. But we need to, yeah, we need to go to the next tier of power. We're definitely not extracting all of the power we could out of the reactors we've got. Uh, so that's that's something we need to do. But hey, uh, big reactor. <laughs> uh, we've got the final tier of circuits, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're getting closer to getting those last upgrades. But uh, I think I've got a bit of infrastructure work to do. Probably do a bit off camera just speeding up machines sorting our power we'll we'll cut in and do some clips and then it's uh, it's going to be on to the final push for the end of modern industrialization it's going to be cool anyway it's been classic stuff thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one <laughs>